So in this video, we're going to use the optic sensor right here as a brightness sensor, to, uh, like in the old system, until dark and until light. So I'm just going to do a really quick setup. I have a motor in my port 1, and I have an optic sensor in the port 2. This is the same test uh, simple gear train that I've been running in my previous videos. So the pro program really is pretty simple. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do when it comes to my optic sensor is I'm going to set the optic sensor light on. It just helps to get a better reading. You can easily do it without, but it's really nice to uh, assist in the reading. I'm going to grab an if statement or a forever loop to keep it uh, always self-checking. I'm also going to run my if statement. And what I really want to have happen is when it's covered, I want it to run. When it's uncovered, I want it to stop. So uh, I'm going to do some self-checking on this as well. Uh, I'm going to use my new uh, touchscreen uh, menu as well to uh, display what's occurring. So what we're going to see now is I want to grab my math blocks. I'm going to grab my greater than and my less than block. And I'm going to come to my optical sensor. So what I want is, I want my optical sensor, I want the brightness now. So I'm going to duplicate that. So if my brightness is greater than uh, 50 or less than 49. In order to avoid confusion, I don't do the uh, same uh, program, meaning same numbers. So I'm going to duplicate that. I want my optical brightness. I'm going to duplicate my optical brightness. So I'm going to display my optical brightness on each of these uh, each time I run it so I know what's going on. So I'm going to come up here. I'll duplicate another if statement as well. And I'm basically going to say if it's greater than 50, do this. And if it's less than 49, do this. Now, that just displays it. So just to give you a visual, what I want to have happen is I'm going to set my motor velocity to we'll change it up and go like 75 percent and I'm going to spin my motor forward now if I am under 49 percent I want my motor to stop so I'm going to download my program I'm going to click run and you can see my optical lights have turned on on the cover. You can see the value here when it's covered, it's going to uh, run. When it's uncovered, it's going to stop. Uh, one of the tricks on this too is lots of times with the lights on, you actually get a higher reading because uh, the light reflection from the finger. So that's just a simple way to use the light darkness sensor in an optical sensor using some conditional lock logic of greater than less than and with this new cortex I really like to display the value so I can read it the other thing I can do is come back here go to devices go to my optical sensor and I can see the brightness sensor there we can see it increases